coming up on the Star Destroyer, but we need to clear that escort. Let's give him everything we got! Hello, and we oh, sorry. Gotta make way for the epic Sega CD logo. CD, the technology of tomorrow, today, brought to you by Sega. This image of Sonic is just a little too suggestive for me to make a comment on. Waggling his finger, quote, unquote. Hello, I'm Bill, and welcome to a new Wetro We Play, where, despite our obvious speech impediments, you and I sit down and we play a classic video game. Today's we play is Powermonger from a pre-microtransactional electronic arts. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey Bill, you already have a video of Powermonger up on your channel. Well, that video features the Amiga version of Powermonger. The one we're showing in this video is the Sega CD version. By Sprites, I guess they did the conversion. Uh... Uh, made by Bullfrog, the original. Uh, it's a classic. Um, run by Peter Molyneux, who later became known as the Hype King. Promising the world and delivering not quite the world. Uh, this is a pretty good version. Uh, I know that praising something doesn't get as many clicks as opposed to complaining about something. So why don't you buck the trend of only negatives getting clicks and like this video? Strike a blow against the constant clickbait complainers. Do your bit and subscribe to my super positive channel where we play Powermonger, among other things. By Sega. We're repeating ourselves here, so I'll hit the button and we will jump to the game itself. Loading, loading, loading. Load times aren't too bad. They're not Neo Geo CD load times, so there's that. The Sega CD wasn't too bad. It has a pretty epic opening here, as you can see. It's uh, not uh, as good as the one for the Amiga, which is really epic, really sets things up, but this isn't too bad. We are going to uh, meet the king, who's played here by Sean Connery. We shall take over all their lands. We shall rob them of food. We shall never surrender. Oh wait, that's uh, Churchill. Never mind. This version of uh, Power Monger came out in 1994. The original was 1990, back in those heady days. These are the actual titular Power Mongers. The guy on the left is uh, you, and on the far right, you'll see uh, he'll come into play. He's one of the generals you take over. If you take over his village, he swears fealty to you. Again, uh, nice cinematics in this version. It's pretty cool. We will be avenged. Let battle commence! Uh, this is a, I don't know if I call it a sequel, but it's uh, the game, that game Bullfrog did after Populous, which was a huge hit for them, kind of uh, defined the god genre of games. This brings things down to earth and puts you in the battle armor of a general. Loading, 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 keep that data loading, keep that data loading. Wait for the stuff to load. So one thing this Sega CD brings is this kind of cool flyby you get uh, before you conquer every island. It's rather textureless, but it's still kind of cool. Still a cool feature. Reminds me of the flybys you got in golf games, showing you the green. We're going to be doing stuff a little bit more serious than playing golf. We might get a few hole-in-ones, though. A hole in one and a soldier with my pike. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll just wait here while the world data is generated. I wonder if that's what uh, God saw when he was creating the heavens and the earth. If you believe that sort of thing. So you'll hear that, uh, as in the f other versions of Power Monger, the audio design really... Uh, is really the star of the show. The audio design is great. Although this kind of neat polygonal texturing, a very early version of that, 
is cool too, but the audio really makes the game sing. It really brings it to life. It's not quite as well utilized in the Sega CD version as it was on the PC and Amiga versions, but it still lends a lot to the game. This opening is kind of... Uh, this is something new in the Sega CD version too. It's like an overview of the world and sets things up. I don't know that you really need a kind of Game of Thrones, you know, setup for Power Monger. They could just drop you in the island and say, yep, take over everything. I don't know if you need a big story, but I guess it gives a little bit of color to the game. You know, families battling for power and, you know, kings deposed and heirs exiled to foreign islands, you know. But, um, it's all right, I guess. It also gives you a good example of the of the spinning you can do of the world using this polygonal engine. So that's kind of neat too for the demo. It uh, shows you that you're able to do that, spin the world around and stuff. It does kind of drag on, but that's all right. We'll sit here and sit back and enjoy the story, the epic story of Power Monger. Win power at any cost, hence the name Power Monger. I like the guy on the right, the general you catch. He always looks like you just said something really embarrassing, something really offensive. You can't say that! So, we'll just wait here while the birds cheep, chirp and chirp. So, time to put in the, my name. I'm going to put in a big... I'm going to put in a very royal and important name here. A name that will be sung by bards for years to come. Thousands will bow down at the sound of its name. And that royal name is... Bill. Sorry. That is my name. I guess I could have used William. So, time to start a new conquest. Loading, loading, loading... So, this is, these are the worlds you've got to conquer. This game is kind of nuts. It's got so many levels, like 198 something altogether. But you don't have to win all 98. You just start at that first one, the far left. And then uh, you um, have to go all the way down the map to the far right, right here. That's the, la that's the la last island you got to take over. But you don't have to take over every square. Just if you take a diagonal all the way down to that other one, that's probably the quickest route. But as you go down the map, it gets more and more difficult. But we'll start with this one, the starting map, because you have to. So we'll load things in here. The loading, the dreaded loading screen. And you get your, again, a great flyby, textureless flyby. You can see the cities you'll be, or the villages you'll be steamrollering soon enough. And uh, we'll get underway. Unfortunately, uh, the, that, this neat polygonal engine that lets you zoom in and twirl the world around and stuff like that, it's really laggy. It was laggy with the Amiga and PC versions, but the Sega CD version, I find, is super, super laggy. So here's a breakdown of who you are and what you've got. There's um, 26 troops. 26 loyal followers starting at our starting tower. And we will look around the world spin things around. It's kind of neat. I like the how the background moves. As you can see, it's it's laggy. It's uh, about one frame per second. <laughs> but still, you know, it's cool. It's cool. I like the sun setting in the background there, or rising. I'm not sure. I guess it depends on how your conquests are going, whether the sun is setting or rising. I'll just put things back to north so we stay. You can see the compass on the left. This is your map. You can go through a number of different views. I forget what this one shows. Elevation, I think. This is elevation, so 
The red stuff are high points and the dark green is low stuff. This is uh, different stuff that's located on the map. These are your food points. Different colors will denote whether there's a lot of food or not quite so much food. As soon as I learn how to click a button here, there we go. It takes a second. You see the towns there in blue. That one up on the top left has got a lot of food. And these are, uh, I believe it's uh, villages. It's like living spots where you'll find people. So you can see the polygonal world. And uh, graphics aren't, you know, super crisp. But uh, it's good. It's good stuff. So let's see what's going on here. You can use the map to click to view different parts. It's a lot, it's a lot quicker than trying to scroll around that slow-ass uh, main view. You can see this town here full of sheep, which is nice. Sheep are a great source of food for your army. So what we'll do... Yeah. See, in the bottom there's a, a control bar, a uh, command bar. So I put it on the lowest... Uh, I put it on the lowest uh, uh, posture, which means... And I've hit attack on the attack button. The knife is the attack button. So I've ordered this guy to march down there and uh, attack the village with the least amount of aggressiveness. So there won't be any casualties. We'll just go in and we'll, you know, persuade the villagers to join our cause. We'll um, use our expert order skills to, like, convince them to join us. As I said, it's a little laggy, this game. Yeah, you can see it's a little laggy. I gotta change the view here. Um, it's uh, not... It's a good, you know, it, it's a little fiddly, the controls, but I think they did the best they could for a console game. They just... The uh, PC and Amiga versions have a, all the icons grouped on the left in a block. And... Uh, well, I guess it would make him a little bit too small in that version. We've succeeded. We've uh, persuaded the villagers that we're not all that bad. So, but I think this is—they did a good job setting up the controls and all that. So what I'm going to do is look up. I'm going to cycle through the views. It's a little fiddly, activating the pointer and deactivating the pointer and activating the view and that. I'm going to attack some sheep here. I'll show you how good it is as a source of nutrients. You can see on the left hand side of the main map where my guy is standing up at the top, you see uh, lines there. The top line is your food supply, the middle red line is uh, the size of your army, and the bottom line is your own personal health. If, if a battle goes wrong and you start getting attacked, you'll see that go down and you gotta run away quick. So I've slaughtered that poor sheep. We're gonna all gonna sit around its carcass and talk about how delicious it was. Um, now I'll just go down here to the command bar. I will, uh, uh, go to a, uh, that's the most aggressive posture. And, uh, I'm going to start inventing. So the house here that I'm pointing at is the workshop. Most villages have a workshop. And what you can do there, depending on what you set for your posture, you can invent stuff, invent weapons, you can invent uh, plows that the villagers can use to um, get their food quicker. I'm going to put a question mark on this uh, workshop and it will show me, as uh, stuff gets invented, it'll show me what gets invented. My, all my guys are running off, you can see the map, the world map on the top left. You can see my guys running off, you can hear them hammering and sighing and chopping down trees. They're going to bring the trees back. All there is here is wood. You also can get uh, steel if you're, if, you're, if you're at a village that has a high elevation. You can uh, build a mine and uh, you can make swords and uh, cannons. So we'll see here what these guys are going to build. I'm going to change my posture, I think, because uh, I can't really build anything at the maximum posture, so I'm going to switch over to the second most aggressive, the neutral, I think that's called the neutral uh, posture. Nothing's being built there. You'll see the stuff instantly if you can start building it. 
something should appear there. I think I'll give it one more chance here to see if they can invent something. And yeah, they're not really inventing anything, so I'll switch over to the lowest posture. And we'll see if something appears. Uh, meanwhile, looking at the map, you can see the compass that we've seen before when we were rotating the view. And at the bottom, there's scales. And uh, what you have to do is it starts even. Or I th even think in some harder uh, levels, you start at a disadvantage. What you have to do is get the scales to tilt all the way over to the right. That's you. And as, as soon as you get sand out of that... Uh, uh, left hand of the scale that means you've won the level and I think I probably ha I could I've taken over this one town that's all you have to do in the first one but I think I'll go through the other town and rampage through that and show you what's going on I wasn't able to invent anything unfortunately one thing I don't think I realized early in this playthrough is that uh, you um, they have there has to be food in the village for anything to be invented so it, it might be out of f food I didn't check that, so we'll see what happens here. Yeah, Mo uh, Molyneux and, and uh, Bullfrog had a good run. They made a lot of great games. They made, like I said, Populous and Power Monger. Some other good stuff. So I've told my guys to... Uh, we're going to go up to this other village. We're going to march up there. See what gives take it over probably heartlessly so if you click on the if you click on oh wait yeah this is the village I'm attacking so we'll we'll see my guys clash swords as you can hear the sound effect isn't quite as nice as in the computer versions but it's a little weird yeah I, I put it on maximum posture this is the end of the level, so I don't really... <clears throat> what you do is you attack the towns with minimum posture so people don't get killed, and then you recruit all the people you can. But since this is since I'm going to end this level here, I'm going to go and retire. Hit this button and then go to retire. Don't worry, I'm not retiring for good. Just retiring this island. After this, you'll get the victory screen. And we'll go on to the next island. Victory! As I stand by the campfire as my minions cheer. This always makes me worried that his cape's going to catch on fire. It just keeps getting blown into the fire there. This guy better be careful. He's going to end up, instead of basking in his victory, he's going to roll around on the ground trying to put himself out. And I'm saying something, and then the word I'm saying is... Victory! We won! Two small villages in the first one, so not too hard. So yeah, you take over towns, if you can, with minimum posture, recruit all you can, take all their food, and then march on to the next one. Uh, and on and on and on it goes. You can imagine if you were going to go through all the islands it takes to get down to the bottom right, it would get pretty repetitive. And the game does get repetitive. That's the real problem with it. it things increase, and these early days, you don't, see like in the later difficult later uh, islands it get more difficult there's other armies that are marching around you have to avoid until you can take them on and they're recruiting people from villages themselves things get more difficult so we'll continue the process of taking over the world you can see now that i've defeated that first island i can I choose any adjacent one that's uh, for the next target so I'll choose this one. And we shall commence, starting with this cool flyby with the driving rock soundtrack. I don't know if that is quite apropos of medieval warfare. There's the villages. There's one right nearby. I feel sorry for those unfortunates. <laughs> They are about to get a rude awakening from my army. That'll be my first stop. All aboard for the conquest train. Please wait. 
Please. Please wait. All right. Let's get the show on the road. That's the bird's cheap. We got a pretty good 21 troops. Let's check out this first. You know, don't even have to look at the big map. Just kind of scroll over here very slowly. Ever so slowly. There you go, chumps. Guess what? You had the misfortune yeah. of establishing your village next to my tower. So m minimum posture, attack. Yeah. And here we go. You can hear the commander. He says yeah to your orders and the strength and it, uh, you know, the emphasis he uses to say <laughs> yeah kind of gives you a de determination of whether he likes your orders or not. But I could care less what he thinks. <laughs> You're going to do what I say, buddy. There we go. Clang, 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 clang. And things are looking good. Things are shaping up nicely. Everybody's running away. There we go. Success. Another successful conquest. Yeah. So maximum posture. And we'll take all the food this place has to offer. The, sorry, my controllers yeah. went kind of wonky. They're not, it's not the best. So. Controllers are a bit wonky while I was recording this. So. My apologies if the pointer whips around uncontrollably. You see those weather effects too, which are pretty cool. It's raining. I'm never quite sure if it slows you down or not. But uh, the seasons change too. It'll turn to winter and then summer and then back to winter. So you can see my food bar went up slightly, I think, after I raided the town of all foodstuffs. I think we'll try to invent here. We'll see if we can come up with something better than our bare hands. I have a bow with a... The general always has a bow. So I've zoomed in here, you'll see. It makes things go much faster, so it's always best to zoom in. Otherwise, it really does lag, like almost an untenable lag. So here I'll try to invent at the maximum posture. We'll see what we can come up with here as I run to the forest and start chopping like a maniac. I tried two different things playing this game. One was, uh, I, well, I'm never sure if it's good. To, oh, I didn't actually, yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd given the command to go invent, but for some reason my army just sat there. So I have to redo that. Gonna have to, yeah. Maximum posture. I think I tried something just to make him go, and then I sw I'm going to switch back to uh, maximum posture. There they go. That's better. So what I wanted to try, because I'm not quite sure if you should keep the townspeople, uh, you know, not recruited to your army, but let them uh, exist in the village themselves while you invent. And then you can get the benefits of, uh, I think it's an engineer that might be in your village and he lets you build bigger stuff like catapults and cannons and stuff like that. So I didn't recruit everybody, but you can see we've invented pikes. <clears throat> So I'm going to put a question mark on that, and we'll see. I'll show it to you. One pike, and that'll, that'll slowly grow as they chop the wood and bring it back to the work uh, workshop and uh, build the stuff. I guess this is the maximum offensive weapon I can build in this town. So we'll make a few pikes, and that will give... Uh, the people of the other village is something to think about when I swoop down into their communities. So, three, uh, two pikes. We have two items of food. Zero items of food. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to invent anything else. Wait till the guys come back. Oh, yeah, three. See. I think I'll just take what I've got and we'll march on. We don't have all day here. here we go. So 
So I wasn't sure whether to recruit people and then invent, or invent first and then recruit people afterwards. So, I've gotten the pikes that I've invented. And we will go to the next village. For some reason I didn't recruit all the people I could recruit out of that yeah. initial village, so... Might have to come back and get those people. There's a, you can see this island on the far right at the tip there at the top. There's a huge city that I've got to take over, so I've got to recruit a lot of people for that. Otherwise, I'm going to get my arse handed to me. And my army's on the march. Neat little touches, like you'll see the birds in the trees there. They'll fly off. Clang, 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 clang. Sound effects not as nice, but we'll have to make do. Yay, took it over. You see the scales tilted a little bit more in my favor. Still got a ways to go, but that's all right. So, time to try inventing again. Maximum posture, invent icon, workshop. Let's see what we can come up with this time, since there's a forest right next to the uh, village. Let's get to work. Let's put on those thinking caps. See what we can come up with that will further our lust for warfare. Okay. Let's see if anything appears here at the workshop. Come on, boys and girls. Create. That guy's got to plow that one guy who just walked through the village. Farmer. Farmer dude. Okay, that didn't work. So we'll switch to neutral in a second here. There we go. Okay, come on. Give me some loving. Daddy needs a new pair of catapults. Work, work, work. That's nothing. Gonna have to switch over to the lowest possible aggressiveness. Alright. It's been kind of a bust inventing in these uh, islands. So far, it's been a bust. And it's nothing. Yeah. Not gonna get anything. Nada. Zilch. Zippo. Nothing to help me kill soldiers. Oh well. I guess I will t take all the food from your village then if you're not gonna build me anything. F you. Give me that grub. There wasn't really much there. <laughs> You can see my blue. You have to be quick in this game. The food goes so quick, especially as your army gets bigger. The f your food supply will dwindle really quickly. So you always got to be on the march, raiding villages, slaughtering sheep. So I'm going to gather up everybody. Because each time you recruit, you, if you do everybody, you, get, you start getting these huge armies. And then, um, as they say, an army travels on its stomach. And if you uh, run out of food, all your soldiers will disband. The ones you've recruited will go back to their villages, and your uh, guys you started with will go back to your tower. And you've got to you've got to try to start over again. So I don't really want to show you that. So we will go on to the next village, which is north, approximately. Oh wait, I think I. Uh, I'd forgotten to recruit everybody from this village, so I'm going to uh, get the people from here, too. It's going to be tricky, because I really don't have a lot of food, as you can see on those bars up top. Let's try to get food first, I guess. We will gather food. Yeah, there's a little icon next to those bars that show you your food on that. You see a little icon there. It shows you what the currently selected general, what his orders currently are. 
And as you get a, as you take over villages with other generals, you'll see them line up on the table uh, beside you, and you can directly select them and get them to do stuff. Although I'm not a huge fan of trying to juggle multiple generals. I don't like doing it. But anyway, we're recruiting this village. You, know, you can see my red line goes way up. We'll go up to this larger town. And we'll raid that one. This one's a little bigger, this place. So we'll start off with minimum posture. Hopefully that will do the trick. There we go. Attack this village with minimum posture. You see a red line up here that shows that it's a valid command. It appears on the map. And you hear a... It means it's you got an, it's a viable target you can select for your order. All right, this is a larger village. Larger villages generally have more talented uh, townspeople, and they can build you better build you better weapons. So we'll see if after we take over this place, if that's the case. I need some ordnance. I need modern warfare on my side. So let's march, march, march. I'm just holding the button on the guy's head, on my general's head. That's why it's scrolling to follow the uh, action. And that's me just getting into view here for the battle. I keep my finger on the posture button because these larger towns sometimes... You'll see blood appear on the little sword. Like right now that sword's appearing to show that you're attacking. And if blood appears on it, that means you're losing uh, you're losing some of your own soldiers. So if you start seeing that, you got to switch over to the uh, higher posture so you start killing people. Otherwise, you're going to be over uh, you're going to be overtaken, but this looks good. This I had way, I had plenty of people. You can see my food going down though. I have less food than I have soldiers now. So it's getting kind of hairy for food. So I'm hoping there's a lot of food here. I gotta look for guys that I haven't haven't subdued yet. They kind of wander all over the place, so it's hard to find sometimes. I don't really want to zoom in. Be oh, here we go. Yeah. Does it ever speed up? You can see it really speed up when you zoom in. I just don't like doing it because I'm keeping an eye on the battle. But this is pretty preordained that we're gonna be okay. Here we go. And I got a new general. General was living in this town, so you can see him next to me. He's got a look on his face like he can't believe that he just got conquered. Huh? You conquered me? I don't believe it. Oh, well. Yeah. So, let's try... Oh, yeah. Gotta get food first, because I'm really getting low. Alright. I uh, lost my button, so I gotta select that again. There we go. Let's see. You can look to keep an eye on that blue button over my general. One on the far left. Let's see what I can gather from this village. It's a pretty good sized village. Yep, it filled up, filled me up. So that's good. Alright. Now, I'm not a huge fan of having these generals, like multiple generals. So what I generally do is I will select him. You'll see he becomes animated and the other guy stays still. That kind of gives you an idea of who's selected. And I will go... I'm going to... This is the biggest village. I'll end, uh, That's the last village, village I'm going to have to take, so... What I'm going to do is take a peek at it. I'm going to select it so it's highlighted. Now, I've got the other general selected. What I'm going to do is down here at the command bar, I'm going to choose the spy option. If you hold down the B button, it shows you what each uh, button does. And uh, I will select that, and I will select the this village. And that commands this uh, other general I've got. You can see his icon next to his status bars have changed to an I. I've asked him to be a spy, so he's going to run over there. He's going to try to ingratiate himself, insert himself into that community. And if he's successful, I will uh, see... I'll see all the people in the town. If he's unsuccessful, he'll have his head chopped off in the village square. But 
generally I don't think that really happens with generals, so I am uh, going to try to invent. Let's see what we can come up with in this town. Yeah. Come on, people. I need implements of war. Do something for me. I'm going to zoom in so I'm not waiting an inordinate amount of time. Let's see if anything appears at the workshop. Put your thinking caps together. Come on, boys. Girls. Ugh. Looks like nothing. Yep. You'll see something appear there right away if it's possible. And it's not, so let's try this. Neutral posture. Can anything be invented under a neutral posture? What do you think? And the answer is no. Nothing. All right. We'll try passive. Passive posture. Anything? Anything there? Come on. Looks like nothing. I got nothing. My phone's ringing. Sorry. <laughs> nope. That's, I actually selected on a person there. There's nothing. So, I don't have a lot of time. You can see my bar's down already, my food bar, because uh, I'm having a big army. Just you tear through the food like crazy. So, I don't even know why I did that. I'm trying to get food at the lowest posture, you're not going to make much. But, let's see. Yeah, zero items of food. That's probably why. There's no food, so nobody's going to make anything. I'm still not sure if you recruit an engineer or whoever, carpenter, if he will work. If you ask to invent in the workshop, he will actually make something. I'm not sure. But... I'm trying to see if any food has appeared. Because they will naturally farm, but... I could drop some of my food. One of those icons shows an apple with an arrow. You could transfer food. But yeah, zero food items. 17 people are there and they're pissed because they have no food. I can understand that. Yeah. I'm going to make them pissed but be a member of my army. <laughs> All right. Aggressive posture recruiting. All you people get... Into my army. Get in my army! Recruit. I want you for Bill's army. You can see that guy, the spy, has worked. I can now see the people in the village. This is this other village. I will go there with a minimum posture. And I will take it over. These guys are sawing to... What I'm probably going to end up doing is recruiting everybody first and then trying to invent. That's probably the way you got to go because it's for the birds not getting anything. Anyway, I've given them, I've given the order. My army will soon be here. And I will give these people what for. You can see a church there. That's kind of neat. One of the buildings is a church. The larger villages have more advanced quote unquote buildings all right here we come we are coming in to show you guys what for all right this is going to be quite a sight to see again i got my finger on the neutral posture button just in case i gotta up my posture and start whacking dudes but uh, I don't think so. I don't think I'll have to. I'll end up zooming in here to speed things up. First, I just want to keep an eye on how the battle goes. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I hit uh, neutral posture uh, by mistake, and you can see the it killed a couple people. You can see their, their incorporeal bodies ascending to heaven. 
Anyway, that looks... Uh, I'm going to zoom in here because uh, it looks like the battle is won. i got to go find some stragglers. There we go. All right. I need food, so I'm going to have to snag some. Maximum posture, food icon. Let's gather sustenance here. Get some... Get some supplies. Alright. One frame per second, folks. <laughs> That's gaming in 1990 for the original. That's gaming for you. Alright. I think get a lot of food out of that. Bougie bum, bougie bum. I like that mumbling. Bougie bum, bougie bum, bougie bum. Bougie bum, bougie bum, bougie bum. Bougie bum, bougie bum. Bougie bum, bougie bum. Alright. It's getting it to be a huge army. Look at my red line. That food is going to go so quick. This is why I'm not uh, beating around the bush. I'm not even going to... I try to get down to the icon once in a while. <laughs> Every once in a while, I try to point at a button with the pointer. You can't do that. Nope. Sorry. You got to switch to the command bar. That's button C on the Sega CD controller. So, just zooming out here. Luckily, there's sheep here. This will be the last battle anyway. I could retire now, but, you know, I don't like leaving villages standing. So I will attack, and since it's the last village, I will do it with no mercy. You guys are in for it. You have no idea what's marching down the hill at you. Be prepared. I got another general that uh, last battle, but he's not showing up on the map. On the table. He's not showing up around the table. All right. Here comes the pain. It's got to be fairly terrifying for these townsfolk. I'd zoom in, but I want to do these battles. There we go. I, I like to keep an eye on things, right? Although, really, what you can do is look at that sword icon next to your status bar and just see. If you start getting blood, then you know you gotta switch. You know you gotta switch quick. I was pretty unprepared for this battle. I'm not monitoring the... Uh, oh yeah, I'm doing it full. I'm doing it full aggressiveness, so I don't really have to change. Let's see. Yeah, there they are. There's the bodies starting to pile up. All the souls going, being released, going to heaven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see. Oh, you see blood on my sword. I'm losing some guys, but I wouldn't worry about it. But I lost the other general because I guess he becomes so ingrained in enemy culture that I guess he picks up arms and fights against me when I attack the town. He really should just vamoose, but he should get out of dodge. But he didn't. That was his decision. And now he's sleeping with the fishes. And that is uh, the last town conquered. Good job, peeps. You're worthy of your general. So what I'm going to do, since I don't like keeping a, uh, I don't like leaving my army on an empty stomach, I am going to just kill a sheep before I, um, before I leave this map. I don't like the idea of my army starving to death. And there we go, we're going to descend. <laughs> the whole army descends on one sheep. Everyone sticks a knife in, I guess. Like a hundred knives get stuck into that sheep. There he is. There we, are. we got a pretty... We're not f full. Uh, sh one sheep won't feed a full army. It's almost full. Anyway, that's it. I'll retire. 
another island conquered. And we'll have our victory bonfire where we burn the bodies of the dead, as is our custom. I will say a few words of encouragement and congratulations to my army. Try not to catch my cape on fire. I will say, excuse me, I think my cape is on fire. Yep, it sure is. I'll just watch it as it burns, I guess. Victory! They will never take our freedom! Good job, good job. Huzzah, huzzah, as the music ends abruptly. Put one in the ledger for the good guys. If we are the good guys, you know, I can't tell anymore. Things have become such a gray area. Are we good? Are we bad? What is good and what is bad? Well, it's, it's all a matter of perspective. But anyway, we will continue our conquest because the military industrial complex has to be fed. We will take a look at the big map and figure out where to go to next. Any adjacent island is is, is uh, picking good pickings. We will choose this one. Loading, loading, loading. Always loading. Such a load I bear as the commander of a vast army sweeping across the continent. Flyby. There's a big village there. There's one uh, elevated village to the left. I'll have to check that one out. Might be a good spot for a mine. You can build mines and with that you can build metal weapons like swords and cannons. Which would be sweet. Sweet to rampage over the battlefield with weapons like that. Yeah. We will conquer all that we see. As far as the eye can see, this is our battlefield. So, 20 troops. Lots of food. Go at 40. As you carry uh, catapults and cannons and stuff, that slows you down. So your speed will s slow down and your, as your army march marches, if you can believe it. If you can march even slower. But anyway, we'll choose this likely looking village as our next conquest. Lots of sheep, which is always good. So we'll choose our posture and we will attack with extreme prejudice. Yeah, he doesn't like that because it's it's uh, it's passive passive uh, posture, so he doesn't like it. He goes, yeah. And when you attack with maximum posture, he goes, yeah. All right, didn't take as long. Again, another village with the misfortune of establishing itself near our tower. So we'll give you guys what for, and forsooth, as the swords clang. I don't even have swords, so I don't know what, what's clanging. Maybe it's my armor. Clang, 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 clang. As my armor clangs together repeatedly. And the birds chirp nicely in the trees as blood spills. No, there's no blood spilled. Remember, passive posture, no blood spilled. First thing I'll do is I will uh, help myself to a sheep. There's one right there. Sorry, my pointer again, going haywire. Here we go. Just get my pointer just on it, just right. Go get it, peeps. Descend upon that poor sheep. We'll have pork chops tonight, boys! Yum. All right. Today a sheep. Tomorrow a small village. Still on the passive posture. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see what we can build here. 
as mumblings occur. All right. Let's see if we can build something good. Build something for me, peeps. It's a small village, so I don't think we're going to get much out of it. To the trees! I'll take my sheep with me, says that one guy. There's lots of sheep here. Holy smokes. If I ever need food, I can come back here. It was my uh, determination in the Amiga version that when the sheep loses its uh, owner and just starts wandering around the fields aimlessly, they'll all end up on the edges of the map. They'll just keep moving until they hit the water. Okay, let's see if we build anything. Come on, come on! Hey, that's a bow. Let me take a look at that. Put my question mark on the, sh work on the workshop. Try not to... Try not to uh, point at any humans. Right, let's see what the workshop says. So two bows. So we'll watch that fill up. Get ourselves a few bows. The most modern of battlefield implements. Bows. You take a stick and put a string on it. <laughs> take a bent stick and tie a string to it. And then use another st straight, straight, straight stick and fire it at people and animals. And when I get to five, I'll say that's enough. Five is enough bows. All right. Don't forget to collect them. All right. Give me those bows. Yeah. I'll take some bows. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. And then we uh, recruit. Join the army. See the world. Kill new and interesting people. While we're doing that, I'll choose my next town. This is the town that was in the elevation. It was raised up. So we'll see what we get. After we take over this town. Yeah. 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 I want you to attack this village with minimum posture. Yeah. I guess I'll do that. Whatever. I got nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Marching to and fro. Yeah, so... Bullfrog... Had a lot of hits other than Populous and Power Monger. They had the theme series, theme hospital, theme park, two greats. Magic Carpet was a good series. Lots of good games from Bullfrog. Until they were swallowed whole by EA. And then dismantled. See my guys with the bows there standing on the hill. My bowmen. Alright. Should make short work of this. Zoom in to make it go a little quicker. Find those peeps quicker. There they are. Got them. As the cheers are raised to the heavens. Another victory. I think that's the, s the sound of the ocean. Unless it starts raining. It might, st might have started raining. Maybe that's the sound of rain. Just takes a while. Even the weather lags in this game. We're gonna try. Uh, let's see here. All right. I went to. Uh, Invent, but I did. For some reason, the um, army chose to go dig up wood, even though this is an elevated area. It should be going for steel. So we'll see if they invent anything. But what I really want them to do is make a mine. So I think what I might have to do is recruit the town and then build the mine. I guess you need the the type of person on your army, right? Just if they're in the village, it doesn't necessarily mean they'll build what you want. So I'm going to 
do a recruit. I'm going to recruit everybody in town and try to get the th person I need to build a mine. Because they, they aren't building anything with wood, that's for sure. So let's recruit this place. Zoom in to make it snappier. Come on in, peeps. Come into my army. I'll keep you well fed. Don't worry. Your families will be taken care of. But just don't ask what taken care of means. Alright, let's try again. My, let's try again to mine. Yep, so now they're going over this way. You can see they're starting to build their mine. There's a little patch there that they build on, so I guess that's what you gotta look for when you're um, trying to find a place where you can build a mine. You have to find that kind of weird white area. I guess it's supposed to denote ore or something, but this will take a little while. It takes a while to build a mine. I've got some food and there's sheep around, so if I get too low, I can murder sheep. Always a fun time murdering sheep. Clang, 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 clang. Get that mine built. Every time they go back to the workshop, more of the mine gets erected. Now hopefully, out of this mine, we will be able to build either swords or cannons. The cannon would be really nice. Let's see what happens. So the mine she has built, let's see if the guys come up with anything. Come on. Invent. New implements of war. That's what I want. So yeah, posture. Aggressive posture doesn't come up with anything. So let's try neutral. See if that works. In the instructions, it gives you all the, the chart. What, you know, what, is not, what is needed to build what kind of weapon or implement. But <coughs> Excuse me. So nothing under... Uh, Nothing under neutral. So we're going to have to switch that to passive. Come on. This is really a bust. <laughs> Building stuff in this in this session. I haven't been able to build anything really cool. You can build catapults. You build cannons. I guess I built pikes and bows. Not the most interesting of stuff. Ay ay ay. It's not good. So I can't get anything. Not even out of a mine. Built a mine. Couldn't invent anything. Oh well. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Say la guerre. Nothing. Alright. I guess it's just off to the next village. This blows. Oh, first we gotta raid the food stores. Won't build anything for me? Go okay, starve. Time for you to starve. Wow, what a big army. Almost circles the whole village. Alright, I got a little bit of food out of that. I guess we got enough people we can take over this big town. Alright. They got pikes sitting there in their workshop. This might be a little tricky. Should, that should be all right. Give the order. Yeah, I will attack. Yeah, you sure you want me to kill somebody? Just one person. Please, just one. I'm begging you. I'm getting rusty here. All we do is go into their villages and talk to people. I don't like it. I want to kill, kill, kill. Actually, that's not true. Every... It's a tradition of mine, uh, the last village I always slaughter, just to keep the locals in line, you know. Just to keep the local systems in line. Alright. There isn't really a, a... I don't think there's woods around this village, so I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to build anything here. Get my finger on the neutral posture. I don't think I'm going to need it. 
Once a guy start going on the run like that, then you know you're, it's pretty good. The enemy starts running. I don't know if they run for their homes or just run for the hills or what, but... I can zoom in there. Stupid phone. My phone's ringing. I mean, I'm getting a text. It's probably some Hollywood celebrity being accused of sexual harassment, so I'll just let it go. I'll get, sit around the fire and tell stories of our conquests. Remember that sheep we killed the other day? That sheep really was blatting when we knifed it. So we got a buddy here. Remember what I like to do with buddies. Actually, uh, what I'm going to do with this guy is let me target this the, the farthest village that we'll have to take over i could retire right now i guess as you can see by the scales everything's in my favor but don't leave any rock unturned that's what i say all right keep an eye on these guys for me would you here's your job go across the map and keep an eye on these dweebs yeah Okay, I guess I'll go live in that village. Yeah. Sure, why not? Looks like a nice enough place. Yeah. Alright. Let's get some troops. Troops! Zoom out a little bit there. The birds chirp and sing in their trees, oblivious to the bloodshed going on on the ground beneath them. Yeah, we need a sheep. I'm tired of listening to that thing. <laughs> I'm tired of listening to that thing blat. So here comes a whole army. <laughs> making pork chops. Sorry, making lamb chops. should make a noise when you uh, finish it off. You should squawk. Ugh! Yeah. All right. Now that I got food, let's get some men. Uh, uh, <laughs> pointer's going nuts. I think I wasn't able to make up my mind. Let's see what we can build. Get out there. So the problem is the forest is so far away. This guy's got to travel a long way to chop wood. It makes an excruciating process even longer. There's a village right next to this, um, right next to that forest. Probably be a better idea just to take over the other town near the forest. We'll see if these guys build anything. You can see the army stretched way out across the map. Let's just listen to the birds. Let's listen to the pretty birds, shall we? Alright, you gonna do anything for me? The answer is Bupkis. Yeah. I think it's better to recruit everybody first. Forget it. You're not building anything. Just get all the townspeople together. As a giant flock of birds flies by, apparently. And somebody shoots their bow uncontrollably. I looked at this place. That's the tower. I guess where I started. <laughs> I thought it was a village next to the f forest, but it's my tower. Fortunately, you can't invent a tower. It's just the place where you start. So, I guess it's... I guess it's the big time. Uh, 
Alrighty. As I'm, I'm peeking over a hill there. There we go. Maybe I'll try inventing some more bows here. Remember I was able to make a couple bows? Maybe we'll get a few more. Let me get a few more archers. Let's try it one more time. We'll see how many bows I've got. I think we made something there. Something other than a bow. It looks like a plow. I think it's a plow. Yeah. One bow and one plow. Alright. Yeah. Let's make a yeah. let's make a few more bows. Can't really kill the enemy with plows. Plow them under. Turn plowshares into bows. Isn't that the saying? Something like that. Let's march over here. And start building. As the sea comes in. Maybe it's winds whipping across the plains. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. The sound design is good, but sometimes it's just hard to tell. Let's see what we make here. Okay, I want to see those bows go up. Right now it's one bow. Oh, they're making pikes. Okay. Alright, that's cool. Pikes are cool. Pointy sticks to attack our enemies with. Let's get some more here. Always need lots of pikes. I guess you could call me kind of a piker. I like pikes so much. Five pikes, six pikes. Okay, I think that's probably good enough. Go to the equip, get all the weapons icon. Pick up the weapons. Ooh. Oh yeah. I gotta do it with aggressive posture because if I use a lower posture I only pick up some of the weapons so I want all the weapons even the plow that'll show the enemy who's boss when I start plowing their fields for them so much better than the way they plow fields all right time to spread democracy to this village my own special brand of democracy, which is, you're completely free to follow my orders to the letter. Alright. This is going to be a bloodbath. It's the last village, so this yeah. is going to be a bit of a scorched earth policy. It looks like it's uh, elevated too. It has those white squares. I wonder if I could mine on those. I guess we'll never know, because I'm about to lay waste to this poor village. Townspeople in their church praying. Please don't let the same army that's attacked every other village on this island attack us. Please, God, please spare us. They're running into church right now. Please. Almost there. Here comes the pain. Get ready for a surprise. <laughs> All right. Can't see my bowmen. They're shooting their little dots of bows just off of. Uh, yeah, this is not going to be pretty. <laughs> yep. Death. Death. Murder. Look at all those souls flowing to heaven. Well, at least they're going to a better place, apparently. Going to a better place. That's as quick quick as that it takes. Once you get bows and pikes, that's as quick as it takes. Alright. That is the map conquered. Map 3 of Powermonger. So, there's nothing left to do but retire. I'm going to retire.
And uh, for our troubles, we get the same victory screen. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah to our great leader who takes over harmless villages. Good job, good job. Good job, boss. Taking, killing, slaughtering innocent civilians. Why, thanks. I try my best. I try my best to slaughter the whole world. Put my cape out, would you? Victory! All right, well, that's Power Monger for Sega CD. I want to remind all you guys to subscribe to this channel if you like this video. And check out some of the other classic uh, video game videos I've made. I will look forward to seeing you guys again in another edition of We Play Classic Video Games. Or is it Retro We Play?